Hi, my name is Corey Lambertson and I am with Whitmix Corporation. Today I'm going to cover how to calibrate the Z-axis on an Asiga Pro 2 3D printer. You will want to do this upon receiving your machine for the first time for initial setup and or if you have moved the machine in the laboratory or dental office. The main purpose of performing the Z-axis calibration is to actually create a parallel surface of the build plate to the build envelope sliding glass. The first step of performing the z-axis calibration is to go to the main screen and to select the maintenance tab. Under the maintenance tab we'll see a zero position. This is what we'll want to select. At this point in time, it's going to prompt us to loosen the build platform calibration screw. The calibration screw is actually located on the right side of the build head. This can be seen easily by removing the build plate. It's actually located right here. Before loosening the screw, make sure your build plate is secured into its position. For this process, we're going to use a 5mm T-handle screwdriver that is actually included with the 3D printer. And we, we will use a simple sheet of copy paper as a shim. So we're going to slide in our screwdriver and loosen the screw. And the build plate will fall down. So as we can see, it is nice and loose right now. We want it to be in this position. We don't want any sort of resistance right now. After the calibration screw is loose, we will simply go ahead and select OK. It's asking us to set a calibration plate thickness. We do not use a calibration plate for this model, so we'll select Next. It's going to prompt us to move the Z axis or the build head up and down at this point in time. So right now we are going to move the build head down. Now the build plate is going to touch the glass and it is okay to do so. It is preset so it will not drive through the glass. There is a stop limit. After, after it reached its zero position, we're going to take the T-handle screwdriver and now tighten that calibration screw. While tightening, we're going to apply pressure. From here, we'll grab our white piece of copy paper. We're going to move the build plate up. we're going to slide the piece of paper underneath and then we'll move the build plate back down. At this point in time the paper is locked. This is too tight. So we're actually going to move the build plate up just a small amount, about 150 microns or so. So right now it's a little loose but we don't have free movement to push it in and out. So we move it up just a little bit more. This is what we're looking for. There's a little resistance, but you can still move the paper in and out without it buckling. At this point in time, we will remove the piece of paper and we will select next on the screen. It's gonna ask us to confirm the new zero position. We will select yes. It prompts us to tighten the build platform calibration screw, which we have already done in the previous step. So we'll select Done. And we will home the vertical axis. So now the build head will move into its home position.
Once it is in its home position, you are now ready to start printing your surgical guides, your dental models, your custom impression drapes, your castables, and anything that you can think of in between. Thank you for watching. My name is Corey Lambertson with Whitmix Corporation.